stupid. I'm not gonna let this drift do this to you guys. We can call the cops. No, no, it's too complicated. I'll just hire him back. No, no, look, you know, I can't keep on you, right? He was trying to push the envelope, and I can handle myself, you know that. So he was trying to undermine you, Jeff. <laughs> you know what? I would be kidding. I mean, really, what could the guy do to me? Honey, you can make you feel insecure and unsure. But that's up to me. And to be quite honest, when he was concentrating on his work, he was pretty good at it. He's a black man. Nash is right. Listen, if you give him his job back, this is never gonna end. He's gonna ask for raises, promotions, and how far are you willing to go? He can't be trusted, and he shouldn't be anywhere near the company. Yeah, what about you guys? You can't just like, move in here. Look, I mean, he's not going to leave if he gets the No, he doesn't. He deals with them. Sorry to interrupt, guys, but you're going to be more shampooed than one in the, uh, shower center. Dr. Lowers has to start me all sorts of questions about Langston. I think you heard that Langston's parents have been killed. Langston's parents are dead? Shut up, Brittany. I dare you to say one stupid or mean thing. Or what? You have enough trouble as it is. I'll make sure you get expelled. Too late for that. What does she mean by that? How can I have to see her first thing? Don't worry about it. She says we want more cute. Make sure she's wearing that varsity sweater someplace else. Thanks, Steve. I'm really sorry about your parents. How did you know? She overheard me telling Cole. Why don't you restore to the house? I decided I wanted to come to school. That's, this doesn't make any sense. Well, hey, so is there anything I can do now? No, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, and she doesn't want to talk to you, so just leave her alone. Okay. I just texted Heather and Amy, and they're all saying I'm throwing they'll go to the late party. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I'm getting out of this bomb pit out of school. I'm going to an exclusive boarding school in Massachusetts. It's for people with, like, a future. Don't you mean it's a place for kids whose parents don't want them around anymore? Shut up, Marco. You and your gang of losers aren't even going to be invited to the party. We wouldn't be caught dead at that party. And we would even be sorry to see you go. You may not be sorry to see me go. We'll be sorry. You know, I think we both can relate to what Langston's going through. True. They all had lousy childhoods. Yeah. She had parents that loved her and she knew that. Yeah. And she had money. She had options that we didn't. I meant what I said about doing everything I possibly can to help that girl. And I want to make sure that she doesn't continue to think that she's alone in this world. Well, I'll do the same for her, Dorian, but there's no way that we can guarantee that everything's going to turn out perfectly. Why not? She's the like right star. Oh, you are the realist and we are the magical thinkers. Well, I'm trying to be you. Yeah. Except when it comes to time. Oh, God, here we go. Come on, bring it on. You marry Todd to help him get custody of his child. Well, it worked. Now what? Now what? It, it doesn't matter, because we don't know where his son is. Oh, please. Yeah. They're going to find the child. Moxie can't be on the run forever. And then what? What do you mean? What are you trying to say? What I am trying to say is, how far do you intend to take this? Do you really think you can mother the child of a woman like Margaret Cochran? Hmm? I'm okay, okay? What the, don't you think that Marcy was smart enough to know that this is the first place to check out? While you're dancing around my apartment with these idiots, she's getting farther and farther away. 
Hey, how's the boss? Hey, got a thing that says they were here. Well, I'm, I'm glad I could be of assistance. Now, if uh, you gentlemen don't mind, please, get out.